Hello everyone, here in this video we are going to be talking about hypothesis and hypothesis testing. By the end of this video, I will try to bring you in a position where you will be very well able to explain what hypothesis is, what type of hypothesis are there and then what is hypothesis testing, what is the type of errors, okay and what are the types of hypothesis testing that we usually do right so these are the things which i would try to cover in this particular video and i will try to make it clear to you what hypothesis is so hypothesis is nothing but just an assumption all right so let me try to help you understand this with the help of an example i'm not sure if you all know who this person is right if you don't know then let me tell you he is none other than salman khan born in 1965 now there is one of his fan named H0. She still believes that he is very famous. Now there is other person named H1. He simply says no, he is not famous anymore. So over here he is try trying to deny the fact which H0 has. When he says no, he is not famous, then H0 completely rejects that she says that's not true and she rejects his assumption so we just saw that both of these two statements are just assumptions as of now and these assumptions are nothing but hypothesis so in short we can say hypothesis is assumption now let's talk about each of the assumptions one by one or hypothesis one by one first let's take this one this is nothing but it's called the null hypothesis and the property of null hypothesis is it says that there is no change in this state like here h0 believes that salman khan is still famous very famous all right other property is h0 or null hypothesis always always rejects to alternate hypothesis all right and this is always represented by H0. Now at the other side, this one is called the alternate hypothesis and this is contradictory to the null hypothesis and this is represented by H1. So we just saw that this is the hypothesis and two types of hypothesis are there. One is null hypothesis and the other one is alternate hypothesis and both of these two are opposite to each other now let's think about this h0 and h1 person they both are not agreeing to each other so they they both will go to the population the country population and check for their assumption what other people think about their assumption but this is not practical to speak to each of the person in the population so they come up with two set of individual samples so they simply draw sample from the population for their experiment now s0 does her experiment and she comes with the outcome that 60 percent of her sample are believing that salman khan is still famous at the other hand h1 come up comes up with the conclusion that 50 percent of the population is believing that he is not famous anymore all right so here this h0 seems to be winning well so they do another experiment they will come up with other sample and here h0 comes up with the conclusion that 40 percent believe 40 percent of the population believes that salman khan is still famous and h1 comes up with the conclusion that 70 percent believes that salman khan is not famous anymore all right they again change the sample and come up with another conclusion where H0 comes up with the conclusion that 30% of the population believes that Salman Khan is still famous wherein H1 comes up with the conclusion that 80% of the population believe that he is not famous anymore. Now we just saw that H1 just rejected the H0. So this is what happens when alternate hypothesis rejects to the null hypothesis then it is accepted 
all right but this is not always true when just in case if null hypothesis is rejected that doesn't mean that the alternate hypothesis will be accepted okay now we just saw that salman khan was a star and h1 believed that he is not famous wherein h0 is rejected it and to prove this they both took sample of the population and come up with their conclusion and basis on the conclusion which they made on sample they concluded that population believed this so this entire process is nothing but called the hypothesis testing so by definition we can say that form of inferential statistics that allows us to draw a conclusion about an entire population based on a representative sample that's what we call hypothesis testing i believe this is clear to you next let's try to understand what happens when we do do the hypothesis so in hypothesis whenever we do the hypothesis there is possibility that we might make some error or we make the correct decision so let's try to understand this with the help of table so there are two types of error let's first name this particular column as famous and this one not famous considering our context where we are thinking that whether salman khan is famous or not famous and this row we will name it as rejected and this one is not rejected so let's consider a situation when salman khan is actually famous but null hypothesis null hypothesis this h0 fails to prove that then in that case we will end up having type 1 error in the lack of evidences it was not proven that salman khan is famous but there could be possibility that he is actually famous the sample which h1 came up with there could be that they were they were quite older who is not watching the movie right or maybe they 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 could be of recent generation who doesn't know who salman khan is they don't they doesn't they don't much know about him okay so that could be the reason right so in that scenario we end up having the type 1 error at the other hand over here there could be possibility that he is not famous and the hypothesis is rejected then in that case we made a correct decision at the same time he was famous and the hypothesis was rejected null hypothesis was rejected then this is also correct at the other hand when he was not famous but alternate hypothesis couldn't manage to prove that okay so in that case it was rejected and in that case we end up having the type 2 error we can also rename this like this right when null hypothesis failed to prove we can say that it's a type 1 error when alternate hypothesis fails to prove that we can say that is a type 2 error this is completely related to this particular context but this table will always work okay this kind of uh, matrix we can come up with simple when the assumption was true but we fail to prove that that's a type 1 error when assumption was false and we rejected that right when uh, and we rejected that sorry we didn't reject that when the assumption was false and we didn't reject that then in that scenario we end up having the type 2 error all right i just hope that it is clear to you now we will understand how many types of hypothesis are there so there are many some of them which we going to be i mean different way ways of uh, putting that right so the test which we will be covering are z test t test chi square test and anova test before we re, uh, jump to the tests we, it is important that we understand significance level and what p value is right so we will be understanding these in the upcoming videos let's have a quick recap of whatever we just discussed so we discussed what hypothesis is which is nothing uh, it's a, just an assumption we discussed type of hypothesis we discussed hypothesis testing and then we discuss how many types of error are there and then we also discuss wh what all are the types of hypothesis testing we will be discussing in this series right so i just hope that it was clear to you just in case if you get any doubt or if you want to suggest any improvement feel free to put that into the comment section we will definitely read out that and we will try to get back to you until then happy learning wish you very all the best